I used to think that my life was powered by the magic of electricity and the occasional caffeinated beverage, until someday I learned that almost all of the energy that I use is some form of solar energy. Now, you may be thinking, I didn't know that we had made such big improvements in the adoption of solar panels. And if you're thinking that, well, my friend, you are entirely right, because solar panels like this uh, only make less than 1% of the energy that we use. So what other forms of solar energy are there? Well, nature has solar panels, they're green, and we call them plants. Whether it's biodiesel, bioethanol, biogas, or any form of energy that starts with bio, it's energy that's traveled to Earth from the sun, been collected by plants, and then been enslaved by humans to power their engines and cook them tea. As a slight aside, all of the energy that we get to fuel our bodies, all of the food we eat, somewhere down the food chain, that energy came from sunlight. So when we harvest plants for bioenergy or for food, we're harvesting sunlight. Yeah! But bioenergy is just a seed compared to our biggest energy source. 82% of our energy comes from fossil fuels, or as I like to say, Jurassic plants. You see, the story goes like this. Millions of years ago, phytoplankton and zooplankton living in the seas and lakes of the earth captured sunlight energy, and as they decomposed over millions of years, they formed petroleum and natural gas, and when this process happened on the land, with land plants, it created coal and methane. Now, if you turn to the scientific literature for some light reading, you'll probably be pretty quickly convinced that we're more than a bit addicted to fossil fuels and that it's causing some issues. So we might want to try our best to stick with fresh sunlight for our energy source instead of digging up old carbon and stinking up our atmosphere with it. So that's where most of our energy comes from, but there are some other forms of energy that aren't entirely forms of light energy. Wind is partly caused from the heat from sunlight, but it's also caused by the fact that our planet is spinning. So windmills are like wannabe solar power machines. Geothermal energy is made possible from the fact that deep down below its slightly soiled exterior, the earth is just a big hot mess. And well, nuclear power, as another example, it just don't care if the sun is shining or not. Now, if we could collect and use all of the energy from all of the sunlight that comes to Earth in just one single hour, we would have enough energy to power our entire human civilization for an entire year. There is a lot of energy in sunlight, and if we can figure out how to sustainably use that energy, then, well, the future is bright. You could go to youtube.com slash scope of science and subscribe, or you could also click here to watch a video of me singing a song about turning plant farts into electricity. Thanks for watching.